Yo, what is good, everybody? It's your boy TJ Reacts here, back again with another one. Hope all y'all are having a blessed day. You dig? And today, uh, as you guys see by the title, we're actually reacting to two things in this one video because both of them were kind of short. But um, this is Dexter Reed Jr.'s uh, the shooting, obviously. Uh, the family response to release of the police body cam footage. Um, and then I also have a video of, I think, a former officer speaking you know, of something. So you will see the title of that here in a few. But sad story. If you guys haven't seen, go watch the past two videos. Um, I've been watching them and looking at them. But let me know what you guys think of, before, of this whole thing as it is before we get into the video but yeah let's just get into this man let's i i it's just it's just kind of kind of sad you know what i mean just kind of sad but sit back relax and grab our snacks because it's time for tj reacts in this in this video man make sure you like comment and subscribe all right so this is uh the family response to the release of the public of the police body cam footage Good evening to you at home. I'm Nate Rogers outside of CPD's 11th District, where we're hearing from the family of this this guy, Mr. Dexter Reed. We heard from his parents as well as his attorneys. His attorneys say that these were tactical officers in plain clothes and that they were driving an unmarked SUV before this traffic stop occurred. I want you to take a look at video from the press conference earlier today. The family speaking with the media, Reed's loved ones addressing reporters this afternoon. After Copa releasing that police body camera footage, they're asking for Mayor Brandon Johnson and Chief Larry Snelling to disband these tactical units that they say, the family says, have been terrorized. Hey, I ain't see this view. They got two right here through the glass. In communities on the city's south and west sides. They're also calling on the state's attorney for criminal indictments against the officers involved. Now, a little bit more about Dexter Reed. He's 26 years old, previously a basketball standout at Westinghouse High School here on the city's west side. He, in Damn. fact, led the team to a regional championship, loved ones tell us. They say he loved basketball and cooking and wanted to be a broadcaster. Here's what his mom said at today's press conference. He had just bought his new car three days before that. And he was just riding around in his car. He said, like, bro, you that, I mean, just nobody knows this. I mean, you got to go through this to know this pain. I just feel for this lady. I feel for her because I feel like some, some just not right about this. Some, first of all, 96 fucking shots is unnecessary. Un, uh, unnecessary to any realm, bro. I feel like if you got to unload 96 shots, boy, you might send their ass over there to war if they want to shoot 99, 96 shots. Send their ass over there to, to fight for the United States of fucking America. Like, bro, you in here killing us. Yo, people. 96 shots, bro? You want to let off 96? Go over there and try to do that shit over there. Over there with them people that we, we, we supposed to be protecting us from. Go over there and shoot them 96 shots over there. Not here where we live, bro. That's, that shit's buku wild, nigga. Mom, I'm going for a ride. And they killed him. They killed him. They killed him. They killed him. Okay. Uh, Dexter got out of his car, unarmed, and was shot by the police. Based on the COPA report that you all received this morning, 96 rounds were fired by these officers. Now, we must also share with you that we did see in that video that Copa released, um, a video of what appeared to be a gun laying in the seat of the car. Now, back out here live, you also are looking at police barricades that streets in San Cruz just dropped off and set up. We also know that police are standing by as within the next two hours or so, various active activist groups will arrive here outside of the 11th district um, to protest in favor of this family calling for justice for Dexter Reed. Of course, we'll continue to follow this story and keep you updated on air and online in the city's west side. Nate Rogers, Fox 32, Chicago. All right, child, that was the first one. All right, now this one's titled Former Chicago Police, I guess, Super, whatever, um, Gary McCarthy reacts to Dexter Reed shooting. We're going to hear what he has to say. All right, thank you, Nate. Reaction from law enforcement is coming in. We reached out to former Chicago Police Superintendent Gary McCarthy, who, as you know, was fired after the Laquan McDonald shooting. He believes the issues with Reed began way before the March 21st shooting. McCarthy says he has heard reports that Reed had a prior pending gun arrest and was scheduled for a court date. 
carrying a gun, uh, being involved in that life, uh, is the start of a tragedy right there. And then being in a confrontation and firing at the police, that makes it an even bigger tragedy. At the end of the day, if, if he didn't fire at the officers, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. But okay, wait, 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 wait. Like I said, this is all speculation, nigga. Like, obviously the cops aren't going to say they shot first. His people ain't, well, his family ain't going to say he shot first. This is all speculation. Y'all still going through the whole investigation. See, see, this the type of shit that don't make no sense to me, bro. It doesn't. Because you saying if he ain't do this, and I hate when people do like what ifs. Because in what ifs, there's two fucking sides, just like a story in a coin. What if he didn't shoot first? What if he didn't? What if he did shoot first? Like you said. What if, if he did shoot first? What if he didn't? You, you think about the one side. You, if, if you're going to do the what ifs, you got to think about both sides, my boy. Both sides. I don't, I don't even want to watch the rest of this, bro. You, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me put this back on me, man. This shit got me heated. Um, I don't know, bro. I, I, I feel bad. I feel bad, bro. We already know Chicago's a rough city. There's multiple rough cities, man. I don't care. I don't care what nobody says. There's a lot of rough cities in the United States of America and all over the world. Violence, it's not my cup of tea. It's not my cup of tea. Some people, some people don't have options but to do sh sh shady shit because the way the system is. Sucks. It sucks. I don't know, man. I feel for the family. Like, if I could, if I could, if I could, like, do something, like, if I had the, the right amount of following and I had the right amount of, amount of funds, like, I, and I know no funds and nothing like that can bring him back, but just to help this family, bro, like, I hate seeing shit. Like, it's not just even them. It's, it's multiple families that have shit going on. Like, obviously, this is just one of the ones that hit the news. I, I just, I, I, I feel for this family, man. I feel for him. And for him to say, like, it's, it's, it, I mean, he might have had charges before. He might have had things before. He's he's grew he's growing up in a rough place, man. He growing up in a rough place. But to be on his case and talking like this about him, like he had shit before all this, I don't know, man. I feel like that's highly disrespectful. But it's only my it's only my opinion. Everybody has their own opinions, and I want to know yours. Leave it down in the comments. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Leave a like on the video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new or haven't already. See their reactions. This is a short video. I'll talk to y'all later, man. If I have more updates, I'll keep posting them for y'all. But yeah, it's TJ reaction. I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.